Okay, gonna keep trying. Sorry about that. Wi-Fi issues anyway got cut off. So uh, we're still in lesson 23, problem set. This is number two. We're just gonna have word problems on this video. This is the back side. And um, so this is where I had already started uh, explaining on the previous video. Mr. Riley baked all these cookies and he sold them in boxes of 36. How much money did he collect if he sold them all at $8 per box? So I said, tape diagrams are super handy. And so if you have all these, these cookies or whatever you have, you put the whole amount on the top and then you put them into what you do know, which is boxes of 36. If you were just gonna pack them all up, it'd be 36 in one box and 36 in another box. And then you can do the dot, dot, dot. You really don't have to you know, keep going. You just put mystery number of times, that's what we're solving for, but we know that it's 36 every time. Now, when you have a part to whole relationship like this, the whole is being shared or divided into these pieces. Now, if you knew the number of pieces, you could divide by that and get how many in each box. But what we do know is how many in each box, but we don't know the number of boxes. So I had started by setting this up and we've got our 1,692 inside and we're dividing by 36 on the outside. So if I had 40, I was saying four times four would be 16, which is where we're trying to get to with our skip counting by the imaginary I wish I had number. So do the actual multiplication, four times six is 24, carry the two, four times three is 12, plus two is 14. Remember, you wanna get as close as you can without going over. So nine minus four is five, and then six minus four is two. We got close-ish, but we still are okay because 25 is less than 36. So that means we go on and remember the steps of the division family, put it on every page, divide, multiply, subtract, compare, bring down, and go through the steps over and over. These problems are getting bigger and longer, and so you have to do this more than one time because we're decomposing or taking apart this whole dividend. So I used up four tens worth or 40 something sets of 36. And now I have 25 of these uh, cookies. It's two in the hundreds place, five in the tens place. And now we'll bring down the ones place. So 252 cookies left. Remember, these are all the cookies that we're sharing. And I still have cookies and I'm trying to put them in these boxes of 36. So 252 now divided by 36. What if I had 40? Remember, you wish you had a better number? If I was skip counting by four, I would count to as close as I can to 25 without going over. So six times four is 24. But remember, I don't have 40, I have 36. So since that's gonna be a little bit less, I could guess six or seven. So if I did six, Six times six is 36, and then three, 18, 19, 20, 21. Ooh, that's gonna give me four, I could tell right away, uh, left over. So let's bump this up and try a larger one. Four times six, 42, carry the four, and then 21 plus four is 25. Aha, that's where we needed to go. So now I have zero cookies left over, okay? They're all accounted for. And so, or the, the cookies, being divided into sets of 36 cookies would make 47 boxes. Okay, so now you can label your answer. It's like, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find the number of boxes. Now I know that this is 47. Okay, so back to the problem. So he sold them in boxes of 36. How much money did he collect if he sold them all, all the cookies, 1,692, in 47 boxes, which now we know, at $8 per box? So you take your 47 boxes and you multiply that by the cost per box, 47 times eight. And so now we will have our amount of money that he's gonna make. So eight times seven, 56, and then eight times four, 32, plus five, 37. And we found out that this is money, so he will collect $376 if he sells them all. Okay, so write that out. All right, and we're done. Okay, all right, let's do another one. So this one, and again, the tape diagrams can really help you with 
of seeing things. 1,092 flowers are arranged into 26 vases, very similar to the first one, with the same number of flowers in each vase. How many flowers would be needed to fill 130 such vases? So let's break this into a couple different parts. First of all, if I have 1,092 flowers, okay, and that's my total, and I know that, and they're in 26 vases, now what I do know, dot, 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 is I know this number. But what I don't know is how many flowers the same number in each box. That's my mystery number. So remember last time I said, you, if you know the total, you can divide by what you do know to find the other part. So let's do step one and we'll divide it. 1,092 divided by the 26 vases. Now, if I had 26 or say 25, remember, find compatible numbers. You don't automatically have to jump to 30 and say three. But if I had 25, I could do four of them and get 100. So I'm pretty close. So let's try that. Six times four is 24. And then four times two is eight plus two is 10. So that was a good guess. Nine minus four is five. So that's all that's left out of all those flowers is five in the tens place or 50 something. When I compare it to the 26, it's less. So bring down, that's the final step in the division family. Bring down that two. Now I'm dividing 52 by 26. So this is my new location for the division. And I can divide two times, two times six is 12. Carry the one, two times two is four plus one is five. So two 26s make 52. So that is all the flowers in 26 vases with 42 flowers in each vase. 42, 42. Now I know the question mark and it's 42. So now that I have this, this is answering the first part of the question, but these are multi-step questions. So what do I do with it? Well, go back to the word problem. How many flowers would be needed to fill 130 vases? So instead of 26, what if I used 42 flowers in each vase, but I fill 130? So it's not how many more, it's just how many total. So you take your 130 vases and you multiply it by 42, which would be the flowers in one vase or each vase. So let's do our standard algorithm. Two times zero, zero. Two times three, six. Two times one, two. Hold this ones place with a zero or leave it blank and move over to the tens place because four tens or 40 times zero, well, it's zero again. Four times three is 12. Carry the one. Four times one is four plus one is five. Zero, six, four, five. And so that is how many flowers are needed for 130 bases. 5,460 flowers. Okay? And you can make another tape diagram if you wanted to, but for the sake of time, we will move forward. Um, all right, last one. Oh, this is a good one. The elephant's water tank holds 2,560 gallons of water. And when they give you the total, think about your tape diagram. After two weeks, the zookeeper measures and finds that the tank has 1,944 gallons of water left. Okay, starts with this, then you've got this, so there's an empty space now. If the elephant drinks the same amount of water each day, about how many days will a full tank of water last? So let's make a tape diagram here. Some some years or different students I'll say well, just make a tank like make a you know a cylinder and put the top on it but it's really just a tape diagram and oh my pencil's pooping out again and I've been having difficulty anyhow so we have our 2560 gallons of water that's why I have a regular old-fashioned best pencil ever Ticonderoga old-fashioned wood pencils these are the best um, so if this is your total okay and after two weeks so let's just mark it here and say this is the two weeks <clears throat> and now it's empty 
the zookeeper measures and finds that it has 1,944 gallons left. Okay, so still has water in it, but this is this is missing. Okay, so if the elephant drinks the same amount of water each day, so if this was two weeks, this would be like seven days, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So each day the elephant is drinking the same amount. That's what your tape diagram could look like when it's a part to whole relationship, okay? And it doesn't have to be the exact right size. We're just showing that this is part of it that we know, this is part that we don't know, and then this is the whole, which we also do know. So in order to find out what this amount is, because we have to find out our, uh, our like daily rate, let's start out by doing 2,560, the total, and then take away what we know is left so we can find the difference between this and this. Okay, so we wanna know what this is, so find the difference. When you do subtraction, you cannot just flip it around. This is what we have here. So go next door, take one and give 10. 10 minus four, six. Five minus four can be done and it's one. Five minus nine cannot be done. That's okay. Take one and give 10. 15 minus nine is six and then one minus one is zero. So 616 represents the gallons in 14 days. Label everything. Okay, so you know what you're finding. So 616 gallons is the amount for the 14 days. But I want to find out the daily, the daily rate, okay? Because they're asking us about uh, how many days will a full tank of water last. So let's take our 616 and go over here. If this is step one, let's do step two. And we'll take our 14 days and divide that whole 616 gallons to find out one day. Okay, so I wanna know what one day is. Now, if I have 14 on the outside and 61 as my first two digits on the inside, if I had 15, I happen to know that 15 plus 15 is 30, and then that's two of them, then 45, then 60, so that would be four. So I can you try a four? Four times four, 16, four times one is four plus one is five. So the difference between 56 and 61 is 5. And when I compare that to 14, it's good. I can move on. Bring down the 56, and what did you notice? It's the same as what 4 times 14 is. So put up a 4. 4 times 14 is 56, and we have 0 left over. Now that is 44 gallons in one day. Okay. Now, we have part three. This is a tough one. That's why people need help with this program, okay? So we wanna know if the elephant drinks the same amount of water each day, how many days will a full tank last? So now we're gonna take our full tank amount, our 2,560 gallons, and we're gonna divide that by our 44 gallons in a day. So take your 44 and divide into the 2560 for step three. Okay. Now 44 cannot fit into 25, 2500. So you're going to pop over here, start your quotient in the tens place. I wish I had, when I look up 25, I wish I had 50. I know some people will say, well, you could go to 40 and then you could go to 24 or you could go to 50 and use the 25 that's already there. It's really up to you. Estimating is uh, different for everybody. So I could try five times five is 25, and I'm a little bit less than that, so I'll give that a try and see where it gets me. Five times four is 20. Five times four is 20 plus two is 22. Looks like it should be good because five minus two is three, so in my head I'm thinking I'm okay. Six minus zero is six, five minus two is three. Close to 44, but less than, so I can move on. So 36 is less, that means I'm at the end of my division family except for the bring down. 360 now is my new dividend. I've gotten all of the thousands taken care of. I have 360 ones or gallons left to divide by 44. So again, 
Looking at the 36, I could use the 5 from the 50 and guess about 7. So if I tried 7, 7 times 4 is 28. Carry the 2, 28, 29, 30. Uh-oh, that's going to be 68 left over. That's too much, so I need to bump it up. So instead of 7, I'm going to use 8. 8 times 4 is 32. Carry the 3. 8 times 4 is 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay, and now I have the difference between 60 and 52, which is 8. So what does this mean, this 58 with a remainder of 8? The question is, how many days will a full tank of water last? So what are these? These are gallons. And so it will last, these are days, okay? So 58 whole days. But what is the remainder eight? Well, we still have eight gallons left. So if it's like water at the bottom of the tank, is that going to last a full day? No, it's not. So your answer here, you drop the remainder and you say uh, the tank will last 58 full days. And click subscribe, come back again, and hopefully I will be of service to you. That's it for today. So we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.